Mr. Dunn uh, called and had a, a, a garbage can that some bees have gone into. So we're over here. What's the day? Uh, March the. Today's March the eighth. March the eighth. March eighth, uh, twenty fourteen. And this swarm, this swarm went into here. Uh, this swarm went into here spring of twenty thirteen, no doubt. Now the the. Uh, uh, this can is is real uh, fragile. It's actually uh, just deteriorating. So it might be a little more challenging than what I, I first thought. So here's the garbage can that has the, the feral bees in it that I brought home. And uh, this is March 19. I'm going to get up and get a real good close-up shot. And I want you to see the, the red uh, pollen they're bringing in. It's, it's, uh, it's unusual to see red pollen. If you see that. And yeah, they're really going to town. There's red pollen right there, right there. Hope you hope you can see it. Now I'm on. I'm on. There's one. I'm on the uh, most pollen is yellow or orange in in color. Okay. There's two. There's two red pollen right there. All right. One, two, three, go. Okay, I'm Tim Durham from Walls, Mississippi. On YouTube, I'm the Walls Bee Man. Uh, we're in the northwest corner of Mississippi. This is March uh, 21st. Uh, it's about 71 degrees. Uh, I'm making this video to uh, hopefully help any help anyone that is attempting to transfer a, a, a colony of bees that went into a container like this and. Uh, uh, into a standard hive and uh, when bees will go into a container uh, as long as it's kind of closed in there's exceptions to everything so uh, but generally speaking I'm going to to cut out a square on, on top of this container and then I'm going to set a brood chamber on top and, and try to explain uh, what I'm doing uh, the difficult part is going to be cutting this out, and I'll have to use my smoker. So, because uh, uh, when you start to you start to bother them, then they'll 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 get defensive. So they're bringing in a lot of yellow pollen. So I'm gonna get on it, and and we'll see how it goes. I've taken a piece of cardboard. I've cut out this area here. I'm gonna tape this on the bottom of the brood chamber, and. You, you'll see in a minute why I did that. Okay, number three. Now, you're looking at the bottom of the brood chamber, and you see where I taped the cardboard uh, underneath, leaving an, uh, uh, an opening there toward the front. Now, I'm going to lay, I'm going to attempt to cut a section out right here at the top front, and, and so the bees always, it's their nature to move upward, not sideways. Uh, if you have bees in the walls of your house, you cannot put a brood chamber beside your house and expect the bees to go expect the bees to go in it. Now, when I do this, I'm going to have to these this entrance, this hole right here, 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 and and here's some here's some holes, and here's here's one. There's one right there. I'm going to have to stop them up, so it will it will cause the bees to go in right here next to the, the new brood chamber that's going to be on top. To, to cut this section out and then I'm going to set the brood chamber on here and uh, I've got my smoker going. When you start uh, go, you know, going inside then they, they can get fussy. Uh, next time uh, next time y'all see Cy uh, tell him those frogs down there ain't nothing. He, he, it takes a man to work with these honeybees. See what he says about that. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke them in their entrance, and now I'm doing this cold turkey, so I'm I'm not uh, rehearsing it. So I hope it works out like I think it's gonna work out. I'm gonna go around when those bees go into a a, a, a cavity, they start building their nest immediately. They don't go in here and then go to the rear to start their their their, their comb. 
So that comb will be right, right in here. So I'm going to try to move right along and, 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 and cut this section out. It, it seems to be cutting all right. And, uh, well, they're flying today and bringing in pollen. What are you talking about? Now, when I get this, when I get this cut, I'm going to take a long blade. That comb is going to be attached to this piece I'm cutting out. see how this works. I'm just letting the camera roll while I do it. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And uh, right now, I've got that cut. I'm gonna peel that back. Oh my! You can see it comb in there. Now I'm gonna try to. I'm going to cut just underneath this 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 piece I'm cutting out, and and not cut any deeper. And you're going to be able to see that comb in there. I didn't. I can't get any leverage on it because I was going to let the camera. Uh, I hope y'all see this. Uh, it's in there pretty. Uh, I'm hoping the cone will not fall down once I cut this piece out of there. Alright. Now, I hope you can see that cone. Uh, I've got to do a little more cutting on the lid. It, it didn't quite come out. Okay, and I hope y'all see that comb. I'm gonna try to hold this camera down real close to it. You see the comb in there? Okay. So now I've got the camera on a tripod. Now I'm going to set the. Y'all see? You, you see how? Now, okay, that's how, that's how I sit it. Now, let me show you one more thing. If you have any questions, let me know. I can't think of everything. Now, this is drawn comb in this brew chamber. See, it's it's dark. That's that's dark drawn comb. They will go up into this dark comb much faster than they will to this. This is what it looked like when it was new, and this is foundation. And they'll go up into this drawn this used comb faster than they will this foundation. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera off, and if you have any questions, let me know. I will do a follow-up on this, and uh, uh, do a part two. I'll go in there in a, in a month or so and check for eggs, and be sure they've moved up into the brood chamber.